All right, I can resist no longer. I have to start <laughs> getting my home ready for the spring season. In spite of the fact that we are still buried under snow with 30 degree temps in the middle of March, <laughs> I have to do something for my soul to make it feel like spring is coming. So I'm going to start in my primary bedroom today and just get it cleaned and freshened up. My goal is to just make it feel lighter. So I'm actually going to take things out of here and um, clean and just make it feel a little more light for the seasons ahead. So I hope as you watch me, you come away with some ideas of how you can do this for your own space. So first things first, I need to get my new linen sheets in the washer and dryer so I can put them on my bed. I want to tell you about this brand called Sapphire Linen. They are dear friends of mine and they sent me a set of their linen sheets and duvet cover. These are the first linen sheets I ever tried. Um, we're from Sapphire Linen and I'll link to a blog post where you can see that I used their light blue in our bedroom once. It was just beautiful. I have tried a lot of linen sheets, but I just come back to Sapphire Linen because they have the most beautiful edging on their linen sheets. It's almost like this double hem with a rustic edge. I just, it's the most dreamy linen. It is such high quality and absolutely beautiful. So you always want to wash and dry your linen sheets um, before you put them on your bed. So that's the first thing in order. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, I discovered this new way to make a 100% natural laundry detergent. And that's what I'm using on this. It's actually made out of soap nuts, and I have a blog post up, at least it should be up by the time this video goes up, all about how to make this laundry soap. Soap nuts are fascinating. Um, you do have to store it in the fridge, that is kind of a, a detail about it, but it's so worth it. It's been an amazing laundry soap. Anyway, we'll talk more about the sheets in a bit and this linen that I got. Right now I am just undressing my bed. This was the bed I had for winter. Super cozy, lots of layers, lots of pillows, but I just felt like I wanted to lighten it up and maybe give us less to make during the warmer months and, and just less on the bed in general. So, okay, I'm taking off our old sheets. As you can see, there's a big hole. You guys, quality matters. The last linen sheets I bought were a very cheap brand and they did not hold up at all. But I promise this sapphire linen has held up great for us in the past. Anyway, I'm just refreshing this room up, getting some fresh air in. Um, it feels a bit stuffy after so many months of closed windows. So we're letting in some fresh air. I have a lot of cords to put away. I keep them in this little drawer here. Um, that's all my teenage girls charge their phones in my room and so I need to tuck them away every once in a while because they start to drive me nuts. Of course, we're doing a little bit of dusting. I like to corral um, my lotions and items in a little basket, keeps them more organized. Love to read at night, but I needed to get some of those books put away so I don't have such a big pile on our dressers. Lots of dust builds up over the winter months. We have to keep on top of it quite a bit, but just a simple refresh on these end tables or bedside tables and it's feeling much better already. And here's a little reminder for you guys after the winter months, be sure to switch out your air filters. I notice a lot of times when we're getting so much dust around the house, it's usually because our air filters are way overdue to be changed. So definitely remember to do that. And then of course we get in the habit of putting too much on these hooks because they're so convenient. These are actually our sauna robes that we love to use in our sauna that my husband built. Have I told you guys about that? It has been amazing. I'll have to do a YouTube video all about it. I love this little spot in my closet where I get to display some of the things my kiddos have made for me. It's just a sweet little reminder of their love and what a joy it is to be their mother. Of course, the floor gets super dirty all the time in this pole barn home of ours and with hardwood floors everywhere, it's just a constant job to keep it mopped and cleaned, but it feels so good when that task is done. I really just hope by Watching me tidy up my home, you get some motivation. Sometimes if you're not loving your home, all you really need is just a good clean and maybe some fresh flowers. And I find those two things usually do the trick for me 
to just go from feeling a bit uh, stuffy and tired of my home to just absolutely loving it. And I actually couldn't believe how much dust had collected on the top of our headboard. You guys saw us in a previous video make this slip covered headboard and I was just blown away <laughs> by how much dust had collected. And a cool hack is to get one of these um, lint rollers and use it over your linens to dust, lampshades, bedding, it works really great. All right, so now the fun part, I wanted to start freshening up some of the decor in our bedroom for springtime. And I remembered I had printed some other vintage art prints for this um, frame above our bed. And so I kind of played around with the few prints that I had printed and just swapped them out until I found the one that I really liked. I ended up going with this print that had a little bit of uh, pink in the photo. I feel like that was a nice touch for spring, going from a black and white print to something with some subtle blues and a little bit of pink. I've really liked that change. When I was grocery shopping earlier, I grabbed some fresh flowers from the grocery store, this little plant. I just really feel the need to get some fresh florals into our home. We're just really have hit winter blues big time at this point. Uh, so just some fresh flowers is really, really good for my soul. And I just went yellow. It just felt so cheerful to get this little bundle of yellow tulips, simply put it in a jar. And then I found these beautiful pink tulips, put it in an old crock. And um, I think these will really help the room feel much fresher. Already the kids were so drawn to them and just so excited to see flowers. We definitely need some fresh green in our life. <laughs> I love to swap out pillow covers for new seasons, so I kind of played around with the different options and I actually found this really inexpensive floral pillow cover on Amazon. I will link it. I just think it's so sweet and beautiful. And I thought this would be just the perfect little accent pillow on what to go with our new bedding. So anyway, it took all day <laughs> practically to get all the bedding washed and cleaned, but um, with the room feeling so fresh and clean, it was time to put on the new bedding. So I was sure to put on the mattress cover for our Savvy Rust mattress. Still love that thing. If you need to go back and check out the video where I talk about our Savvy Rust, it is an absolute dream to sleep on. So then I put on the fitted sheet of our Sapphire linen bedding. I love the deep pockets that they have here. It fits really well with our mattress. Um, these just seem to not pull up as much as other linen sheets I've tried. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned, but I've tried a lot of linen sheets and not all are created equal. Here's another look at this beautiful edging on sapphire linen sheets. So this time I opted for the creamy white color that they have. It is beautiful. I thought I've always just loved stark white bedding, but this bit of warmth in these sheets in the color just feels so perfect for spring. I just love the warmth it brings. Still feels clean and fresh, um, but it just has a tiny bit of warmth and color. I am absolutely loving it. But I actually got a set of the white pillowcases and the creamy white pillowcases. <laughs> Here's my little boy, he had to come and help me. And of course, the little boy with a pillow, you just kind of have to start a little pillow fight. He loved it. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. Anyway, so we got the new pillowcases on. Um, I don't know about you guys, but my husband goes through pillows a bit faster than I do, so I do have to replace his pillows a little bit more frequently than my own, but I just grabbed these at Kohl's actually. This is more of an accent pillow. Here's some cute little puppies that we have. Teddy is ours, the white one, and then we get to dog sit our neighbor's dog when they go on trips. And it is just double the fun. They are the sweetest little things. <laughs> My kids have so much fun with them. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so I took off one of the layers of blankets that I had on there in the winter, but I still wanted to put on this quilted linen sheet, or blanket, sorry. And we definitely still need some warmth here, but I just love having not as many layers for this season. Have you guys ever put on a duvet cover by yourself? It is tricky. I always have to get my husband involved in this process, but 
Oh, it just felt so good to get this new duvet cover on. Um, I need to mention that this is 100% linen sheets, pillowcases, and the duvet cover. Now the husband and I have found just the easiest way to get a duvet cover on is to work together to stuff it in one end and then just shake it around as much as possible. Make sure you're tying on the corners. That really keeps it in place for longer. So I just kind of played around for a bit to decide how I wanted to dress the bed this time. And I really wanted to show off that rustic edging on the, sh the top sheet. So I decided to fold over that quilt and kind of hide it actually when I make the bed this time and then turn over the top sheet with the duvet. That way I'm getting that pretty edging in. So now it's time to play with layers and I still wanted a blanket at the foot of the bed. And a long time ago, actually, when I was doing the bedroom for the first time, I bought this light green uh, muslin blanket, I believe. It's just off of Amazon. And I thought for spring, that would be a perfect time to bring in a touch of green. We like to double up on the pillows behind our head. Kevin sleeps on both of them, but I remove one when I sleep. But they're really nice to prop up on top of each other because then when you crawl into bed, want to read a book, um, it's just the perfect cozy landing for your back. And for winter, I had the three pillows and then two and then one. I decided to take away those three pillows for this spring look and just do those two square pillows with the accent pillow. So that way it just feels lighter. It's quicker to make and still looks really beautiful. Now it's time to add those fresh flowers. Um, I love a bit of light pink, so I put those on my side with my scriptures and my journal. So cozy and ready for me to just crash. It just feels so good. On the other side, my husband's side, I put this beautiful plant that blooms during the winter months. So it's just beautiful. I hope I can keep this one alive. It is very, very beautiful. And before I forget to tell you guys, you can head over to my blog at tidbits camicom I'm gonna wrap up this video and share some tips about things you can do to refresh your space for spring. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing how I'm doing all this. But if you want to kind of dive a little deeper with me and take a minute to read and enjoy some beautiful photography, head over to my blog and we'll spend a little more time together. I appreciate that and would love to do that with you. So on this dresser, I just added those yellow tulips um, next to the picture that my daughter made for me for Christmas. And this room feels so refreshed and beautiful for spring. I am thrilled with this sapphire linen bedding. And if you want to go check them out, I will leave a link below for you to look at their beautiful linen bedding. I know you're going to love it. Take the time to research the linen that you want to buy for your bedding. Make sure it's 100% linen. Try to avoid made from China companies. That's what I've learned. A lot of times those are just paper thin and they wear out fast. But I highly, highly recommend this beautiful sapphire linen bedding. Aren't those pillowcase edges just stunning together? I just love it so much. I really hope you've enjoyed refreshing this space with me for spring. Hope it motivates you to push up your sleeves, get cleaning and try to just Take away some of the elements that have been in your home for the winter and lighten things up. You really don't need to spend a bunch of money. Just pull things out. I would say if you're going to buy one thing, buy a new pillow case or sorry, a pillow cover for an accent pillow. That little change alone makes such a difference. Thanks for joining me today for this little spring bedroom refresh. I hope you came away a little bit more motivated to do this to your own space. Anyway, we will talk soon and I will be back to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home. Mm -hmm.